Hello, and Merry Christmas. I'm Eugene Mentz, Director of Music here at St. Paul's Parish in the beautiful Green Ridge section of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Thank you for joining us for our virtual Christmas cantata. On behalf of the Parish Adult Choir, as well as the students of St. Clair St. Paul School, it is our hope that this cantata brings you a sense of peace and hope that comes with this Christmas season. Over the past several weeks of Advent, we've prepared our hearts and minds for the coming of Christ, not again as a child, but in glory. The prophet Isaiah foretold it. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, the cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Our parish adult choir will now present On That Holy Mountain from Joe Mattingly with soloist Ed Sangus.
good afternoon. Although I would have preferred to have greeted you in person this year, the COVID just does not seem to be cooperating. And so it's through the marvels of live streaming and social media that we're able to reach out to you during this happy and holy season. Uh, we're pleased to present this Christmas cantata by our children at the school and from our parish choir. Uh, there's no way we can contain the joy of this holy time, uh, the joy of the Savior coming into our world anew, into our lives and into our hearts and into our homes. So from all of us here at St. Paul, to all of you in your homes, we wish you all of the blessings of this holy season. God bless you and enjoy the cantata. When the time came for God to deliver his people, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God.
days a decree went out from Caesar to all of his subjects that they should travel to be counted in the census at the cities of their birth. So Joseph and Mary went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her son and named him Jesus. She wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Indeed, then, Jesus, the Word of God, came to us not in the form of a mighty king, but as a lowly child. He took not a seat on a throne of precious materials, but took up a humble manger. The poem, The Manger Throne, written by William Chatterton Dix, was inspired by these scriptures. That poem became the lyrics to the hymn, What Child Is This?, set to the traditional English folk song, Greensleeves, which our adult choir will now sing.
that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Before the shepherds, there were suddenly a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has been made known to us.
So the shepherds made haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is this child who has been born king of the Jews? For, he, for we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he called together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. The wise men set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw, saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
Now, when King Herod had called the wise men, it had been a secret because he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. He had told the wise men, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, the wise men left for their own country by another road. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated. And he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem, who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant. He grew up in another village, where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then, for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a home. He didn't go to college. He never lived in a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He did none of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 33 when the tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his garments, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty centuries have come and gone, and today he is the central figure of the human race. I am well within the mark when I say that all the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life. We close our cantata with the hymn, hymn Joy to the World, sung by our adult choir. Thank you for joining us.